After you've planned your writing, you've done your brainstorming, your research, all of your pre-writing, after you've drafted and just got the words down on the page without worrying about finding the perfect words or constantly checking your spelling or grammar, you move into the revision and editing stage. We revise and edit in part so that we don't have to pay such careful attention as we are writing. It's hard enough to get our ideas out. When we try to get our ideas out and then make them perfect right from the get-go, it just doesn't work very well and it takes a really long time. So once we've got our draft, we've got words there, we can revise and edit them and we can look at how to improve them and how to make sure that what you're writing is clear for your audience and your message is clear for your audience. It doesn't matter where you start as a writer. You could be a kindergarten kid who is writing their first story with like the little pictures drawn in crayon, or you can be a published author. Your first draft will never ever be your best writing. You can always make it better. And that's what we use revision and editing for. So what's the difference between revision and editing? In short, revision looks at ideas, editing looks at the mechanics. So with the ideas you're looking, are there clearer or more specific words that you can use? Do you have a variety of sentence types and lengths? Is your topic or argument clear, well supported with specific evidence, and have you explained how that evidence proves what you're saying? Have you ensured that your ideas make sense and are organized logically using transition words and phrases? That's if you're looking at nonfiction. If you're looking at fiction, is everything that happens in your story relevant and important? Or do you have something that happens and doesn't seem to have any follow-up? There's no point to it in the story. Do your characters act in ways that are appropriate to their personalities as you have described them and as you have shown them in your story? Or are they acting out of character? Have you used dialogue and action to create a picture in your reader's mind to show the story so that they can visualize it rather than telling them this happened and then this happened and then this happened and then this happened. With editing, you're looking at the mechanics, the conventions of language. Spelling. Have you spelled your words correctly? Have you made sure not to use text speak? The letter U is not acceptable in published writing. Do your sentences begin with capitals and end with ending punctuation, uh, periods, question marks, or exclamation points? Have you capitalized proper nouns and not capitalized other ones? Have you capitalized I? Have you written in paragraphs? You should be changing in, to a new paragraph. Uh, in Every time you bring up a new idea, each paragraph should be one idea with its support and description. Um, you should also change paragraphs if you change speakers when you're writing dialogue, if they move to a different place, if your characters move to a different place, or if time passes. Each of those should mark the beginning of a new paragraph. Have you written in complete sentences? You have a subject and a predicate. There are no sentence fragments uh, and no run-on sentences. If you've got all these multiple ideas, you're using a conjunction like and or but or a semicolon or a period to separate these ideas. Have you punctuated your dialogue correctly? Have you used apostrophes correctly? So editing is like the, the spelling and grammar and punctuation piece of it. Revision is the actual content of what you're writing. So here are a couple examples. Here's the original. Um, I'm going to let you pause the video to read it rather than reading it out loud. And then here is the revision. Notice I've added a lot in this. You can see the stuff that I've taken out has been crossed off. The red is what I've added. Uh, in some cases to make it clearer. Uh, in some cases to add description. Pause the video, read through this, and then we'll go to the next slide. 
with the revision, I want you to notice these five things. I added a lot of detail. Um, and the reason I did that was to help my reader be able to visualize what's going on. I got rid of things that didn't make sense or that weren't needed in the story. In some cases, I changed words to make them more accurate or more specific, and particularly said. Um, you can use, there are a lot of different words that you can use that explain how someone says something, like they exclaimed it, or they shouted it, or um, they muttered it, and all of those different words convey a different way that uh, the, the character is speaking. I added adjectives and adverbs to make it more descriptive and it's pretty significantly longer. Editing exemplar, it's the same basic idea, but I've changed some things in this quote original so that I could show some of the different um, editing errors that people make. So pause the video, read this, see what you notice needs to be changed. So the edits here are in yellow. A lot of them are based in um, punctuation uh, or sentence fragments. The things I want you to notice in the editing example is I checked my spelling. I fixed any errors in spelling. I made sure that my sentences were complete. I had some run on sentences and I had some sentence fragments. So I made sure that every sentence has a subject and a predicate. And I added conjunctions or ending punctuation for run on sentences or information that was missing, the subject or predicate that was missing for sentence fragments. Notice that I switched to a new paragraph every time the person speaking changed. I put punctuation inside the quotation marks, not outside of it. And the sentence that someone is said in the quotation, I started that with a capital. And unlike with revision, where it is fairly significantly longer, this one really didn't change that much in length. It was more fixing little problems than it was adding a bunch of information to it. One thing I highly recommend is that you create a personal proofreading list. And these are the things that you, the errors that you make traditionally. Um, these, you can find them in, you know, what do teachers in the past always tell you about your writing? Um, do they tell you you have a lot of sentence fragments? Do they tell you uh, you spell this word incorrectly a lot? And make a list of the things that you do often. That way you can look through when you're doing your self-revision and self-editing to make sure that you aren't making those mistakes. Some of the common ones, keep to the same verb tense. If you're writing, write either in past tense, it happened, or in present tense, it is happening, it happens. Make sure that your verbs are correctly conjugated for their subjects. So it's not they is, it's they are. Note down commonly misspelled words, such as a lot, which is two words, not one, each other, which again, two words, not one. Um, using affect and effect correctly. Affect generally is used as a verb, as in it affects me. Effect generally is used as a noun, as in the effect of this is. Uh, and the, you know, two, 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 there, 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 your, your, it's, it's, etc. Check your sentences are complete. You have a subject and you have a predicate, and it's a single idea, unless you're using a conjunction or semicolon to join ideas. Check that your sentences begin with a capital letter and end with ending punctuation. Don't start sentences with but, and, or, or other conjunctions. And that's part of making sure that they are not sentence fragments. And capitalize the I when you're saying I am or something like that. And make sure you write out words rather than using text speak. Y-O-U instead of the letter U, 
I don't know instead of IDK, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Few things to remember: always revise before you edit. There's no point in fixing your spelling and grammar if you're just going to add and delete words and phrases and ideas later on. Start with your ideas. Make sure that you've got the content the way you want it, then move into editing and fixing spelling, grammar, and punctuation. In general, you're more likely to catch errors if you print out your writing and then read it over with a pen in your hand than if you try and read the screen. Uh, for some reason, when we're reading screens, our eyes tend to skip over more words and just our brains don't catch the problems in it. Another way of improving this is to actually read it out loud. If you read your writing out loud, it slows you down and it helps you actually hear some of the mistakes. You can catch things that don't quite sound right or where you're sort of stumbling over your words. That's usually some place to fix something in the revision. And go over it more than once, but save every draft separately. And the reason I say this is that sometimes you revise and you take something out, like a paragraph, out, and then you go on. And then a little bit later, when you're doing another revision, you're like, okay, wait, I want to add that. I like that now. That, that actually fits in this place where it didn't fit before, but you've already revised it out. If you keep separate drafts, you can go back to, okay, that was draft one take it out of draft one, copy, and paste it into draft three. 